Hey bulls, how we doing? How are my bulls doing today? I hope they're well. I'm gonna get rid of the bull bay thing. I think it's stupid. I know it's stupid. That's why I held on to it. But um, we're all bulls, men and women, young or old. So thanks for coming with me today. Uh, real quick, wanna give you some commentary on the market that I'm gonna bug out. I'm done trading for the day. L Lab U, I like it as an overnight hold. ERX, I love it as an overnight hold. Devon Energy is down today when CPE, MRO, and some of the other players are up, so I don't mind it as a hold because it's negatively correlated and it's oil. I expect bad numbers tomorrow, or ex I expect a shook market tomorrow. SOXL is basically flat right now. If it moves upward into the green, I'm probably going to clip it, rebuy it tomorrow when it drops. Square didn't make the move that I wanted it to, so I think I'm about flat, maybe up 1% or so in Square, SQ. I love it. I'm hoping like hell it goes down tomorrow. I'm bullish on a bad day tomorrow for Tech and, and um, Square. Right now, let's take a look. Banks, banks are down. That's a, a bit of a surprise, but that's probably the market digesting a little bit of what's already about to happen, which is that there will be inflation numbers. There will be a discussion further about the $200 billion a month of annual bond buying by Yellen. Uh, and if there's not, then all those stocks that we already own are going to go all the way up anyway. So anyway, my point is QS up 3.9%. I'm going to clip it. Um, EOG, hold it. MRO, hold it. Um, NVIDIA, I'm going to hold it. I still like it long term. And if we get good news tomorrow, I'm up. If we get more down, down news, I'm still up. Um, Palantir, silver platter, baby, on that one. I'm cool holding it. If you're up on your basis, go ahead and clip it. Uh, why not, right? Take those profits, use them again tomorrow. Um, Lab U, I've getting, got a lot of questions about that. It's still gonna run, guys. That's, 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 think about that as the engine. We have a bunch of other parts. We can always put uh, more horsepower into our engine later. And uh, I expect that to be in the mid 80s. So um, Lab U is, is one of the many rotational sector triples that I like to use, and that's it. Uh, okay, let me move on. So Steve is one of my original OG bulls, and he and I, we're talking back and forth on my YouTube channel. I want to answer some of his questions real quick for you. For whatever reason, YouTube's not working on this. I'm just going to look at it here. I'm not going to give you anything but the visual behind me, but I'll answer the questions as they come. <sighs> it's a good trading day. When you're out of breath, you know it's a good trading day, right? So just to reinforce my hypothesis, I think the money is following the meme stocks. I think it's the dumb money and it's following the crypto. There's so much stolen volume from the market today that I really don't take any of the returns uh, as, uh, as any indictment on what the value of a security is. And tomorrow, I'm hoping for bad news so I can buy more things. That's why I'm clipping everything except for ERX, the energy companies that I own. I don't mind hold, holding SOXL because I like it at the price it's at. Um, if it turns green and ends up somewhere in the 2% by market close, I'll clip that too. Um, I, can't, I can't quite remember the other stocks that I was talking about, but anyway. Let's get back to his question from Steve on my channel. Um, I'm really desperate for conversations to have with you guys, so I really appreciate this. This is my favorite thing in the world to do. All right. So Steve, not an exaggeration to say that dozens of your listen, dozens of us listen to you every single word. That's awesome, man. Keep it up. Uh, also, think for yourself. Being a bull, and I know you do. Uh, but everybody out there, being a bull also means doing your own thing and taking the good out of uh, a lot of conversations and trusting people that actually trade and know what they're talking about. So good eye. And um, let's get to the questions. What percentage of your overall portfolio is dedicated to long-term in investment and what is trading? I'm a trader. I trade almost everything. Um, if I pick up a bad position, I move it into a separate account that I like long-term. I've got some Exxon from days past that are finally just above water. Um, I move the dividend payers into a separate account. Um, I, I just, uh, Fidelity or, or TD or Schwab, it doesn't matter. You can have as many accounts as you want. So I have one listed that says swing trades. I have one that says day trades. And I have another one that says, um, I don't think it says anything, but it's basically my either my long term or the, my workarounds. When I get a bad trade, like a bad option or otherwise, I'll just move it to my workaround. And then kind of as I go through my day and start clipping profits, I'll figure out what to do with that workaround portfolio. So that's what it is. Typical amount of capital you can throw at any given swing trade. Uh, I'm not going to give you my numbers, um, but I can just tell you that swing trading, let's say that you have 30 grand. Um, I'd say let's put 10% on a swing trade. So 10% um, and maybe, so use half your capital. So let's say uh, $30,000, take $15,000 
and then split that among four or five swing trades a week. Buy on Tuesday, sell on Thursday night. If you like it, you could move it. If you make bad trades, you manage around it. Using bigger numbers, it doesn't change it. And using smaller numbers, it doesn't change it. Uh, that's the first thing you learn as a financial pl a planner or investment advisor or whatever I used to be. You don't do that. It's uh, the, sa the numbers are the same no matter whether it's a $1 account or a $1 million account. Unfortunately, the brokerages don't believe that. They only give attention to the big guys. Um, when you find a stock, how do you find stocks to swing trade? I have an entire segment and videos about that. I run the um, I run the, uh, the my what I call my Monday Momentum Screeners. I did update that yesterday, by the way. So if you want to go to everbullish.com and look at uh, the Momentum, I, it's called the Swing Trainer uh, Swing. No, it's called the Stock Screener tab here. So <clears throat> I didn't even plan on this. This is perfect. So Momentum Stocks. I run a screen uh, at a certain time in the morning, typically around nine o'clock on Monday mornings, to see where the dumb money is. And what that means is that in any stock that's moving up 3% on 15% higher volume and down 3% on 15% higher volume is a stock that's moving outside of its range based on the news. I look at that for swing trades and then I cross-reference that with what my list on my iPad is that I've showed you guys before that's in Stockmaster. And remember, I have six of those lists. So that's what I do. Uh, also, I've showed you in my uh, in my um, my Sunday recap when I go through the sectors and I try to get by more of the laggards. I uh, try to get a pulse on where the market is and sectors is really the most, I should say sector swing trading is probably over the last tw 12 years, the best way that I have been able to consistently produce reliable gains and of great returns. And I give those to you. So just read the Sunday recap. You can figure that out. Approach to risk management. I'm a risk on guy. Uh, sometimes when I feel like the market's getting a little shaky, I tone down the risk and when um, I feel like everybody else is scared. I like to step on their neck, just like a golf match. When you get one up on somebody, you don't start playing safe. You got to go uh, for the green every time. Percentage of winning screen tra swing trades. I don't keep percentages on my swing trades. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't feel like I need to, uh, you know, publish that. And honestly, just in my own mind, I don't really give a shit. I don't really care. I just see the account values going up. It's not uncommon to, to uh, shoot for around 10% per week. And, um, I'd say that I probably get that if you include my options, but again, my options are kind of workaround trades. I consider them dip trades, swing trades, conversions into midterm hold trades. I consider them dead cats sometimes. Sometimes, a lot of the times they're day trades. I mean, if I can get one tick inside of an option trade, uh, let's call it a two month option on a highly volatile stock, that's 20% right there. And I use that to manage the risk on whatever is down. Okay, how do you determine whether a stock is overvalued? Um, I think that every stock I buy is overvalued. Um, I don't think capital asset pricing model cap M, uh, which is the technical scientific way that you're supposed to value a stock really matters when interest rates are this low and when money's being pumped in by the Fed. So uh, when the Fed is printing money, stocks are overvalued in my opinion. Well, I should say growth stocks are overvalued. Um, that's how I feel about it. Obviously you can do the PE under 10 as a buy, PE over 20 as a sell, but then you wouldn't have any stocks to trade. So chasing value is a fool's errand, I believe, until it turns. And I, I check that by looking at institutional flows. Um, what signal do you use? Institutions are rotating back into stack to tech stocks. Uh, I look at people like Kathy Wood. I look at people like uh, what, what Elon is tweeting. I look at uh, what uh, Jack Dorsey is doing, a lot of what you've already seen. Um, I also listen to a lot of the people that I know inside of the business, only uh, obviously using nothing but... Um, material concrete for everyone uh, information but uh, you know I have a lot of contacts in, inside of a lot of companies uh, that used to be either clients or friends and clients that turned into friends so um, that's what I do I'd like to take, take the word of people that I respect and trust and I almost take the word of I hate to say this but I don't really take the word of many people that uh, trade unless um, I think that they're better than me and I've got you know 10 or so of those guys out there that that are doing it as well so I listen to them Technical analysis. I'm becoming more and more of a technical analysis guy. Uh, I used to think it was hokey. I used to be a fundamental guy. Fundamentals an F word now. I don't use fundamentals almost ever. I've helped some people with some fundamental questions in the past, but uh, technicals, real simple, I've showed you guys. If I think I'm going to jump in on a stock, I look at the three month RSI at the standard setting, which is uh, what is it, two and 14s so with two standard deviations over 14 periods. And I throw that up on Stockmaster. When I look at it, I say, if it's under 50, I'm still bullish. 
Um, if you can add some good news on top of that, I'm more bullish. And it's a, if it's a sector that I like even more, then I'm even more bullish. It's turned out to work great for me. Uh, I do use MACD, but not a ton. Uh, I don't use Bollinger Bands very often unless I'm setting limits. I do use Bollinger Bands at two standard deviations to set limits. Um, how can we learn everything that I know? You got to keep watching the channel and um, keep sharing it with friends because I got to make sure that this is worth my time as much as I love doing this and uh, I have my mission. Um, that's how you can learn everything that I know. And also you only learn by doing. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time coaching and helping high net worth institutional investors become better investors in their trading strategies, mutual fund strategies, and financial planning strategies. So I've seen all the errors that people have made. I think that's what sets me apart. What's my opinion on selling puts? I never go bearish um, unless I'm actually bearish on the stock. I, you know, I do believe in hedging. Um, it depends on what your position is on anything, NNDM. Um, we can talk offline off of that, but um, that's what it is. So I'm gonna put this up quick. I really appreciate the praise. I really appreciate everything that you said. Uh, more so, I appreciate all you guys following me. Please keep it up. Please spread the word. If you can get me on Reddit somehow, uh, it looks like I'm either pissing some people off on there or it's just a mean community. But either way, I think that there's a lot of misguided people on there. So holler at your boy, uh, get them on my side. And uh, if you do enjoy this video or others, buy me a cup of coffee on my website, buy one of my portfolios. Uh, I'm gonna start calling them suggested portfolios. I guess people think that there's a little bit outside of what's actually going on. This is my disclaimer. Uh, I've been trying not to use this because it's a way of people trying to almost virtue signal that they are professionals. Um, and I am a professional and I no longer invest uh, assets for other people. I have now, I have a newsletter. Newsletter is the key word in the legalities of all newsletter investing. I believe newsletter investing is the future. Uh, you're a grown boy, you're a grown girl, you're a grown man, you're a grown woman, you can make your own trades. Uh, I give you a guide of suggested stocks on my website in my three portfolios. You can choose to buy them, choose to sell them. You can change up what it is, but I track the performance of that and tell you about the changes of that portfolio and you can play along. Uh, it's that simple. Instead of charging everybody for, uh, you know, a multi-thousand dollar class, which I think that this YouTube tu tutorial is, um, it, this is, I'd rather just give it to you for free and let you pay me on the backside when you make some cash off of it, make some money off of it, or buy my portfolio, follow, follow along, and you're getting better, and I charge 75 bucks. Um, I've got the best agenda out there. I have no doubt about that, and um, I think that this is going to work, and it's also going to shake up the guys in the suits in the office. I'm in the Jersey looking at the lake trading, baby. So, okay, that's enough about me. Thank y'all so much. I hope this video is good. I'm not going to get a chance to edit or really revise it. I know I talked fast, um, but um, thanks again, LGR, AFG, LFG. Let's get rich. Steve Jerovich, appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Bye.